lovely. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely superb, totally unexpected. Um, to be recognised for something that you love to do is always a bonus. So, you know, didn't expect it at all, but absolutely delighted. You know, we're in a small corner of the world up here in the in the countryside. So um, sometimes uh, you don't realise that obviously somebody thinks a lot of you and uh, it's a great feeling for doing something that you enjoy. So it's superb. Amanda is inspirational, really. I've just come back from being away with the Norway Cup with the girls, and uh, she's brilliant. Uh, she puts her whole heart and soul into this. Uh, football is her passion, her life. She treats the girls like her own extended family, and I've witnessed firsthand how she treats them on the pitch um, and off the pitch. You know, she's always the head one that's first in, in the swimming pool and doing everything. She just motivates, enthusiastic. So if anybody deserves this award, it will be Amanda for all the time, the effort, the commitment she puts into the game and to the players. Sometimes the role models that we have in this country are maybe not the ones that we really are looking for. Amanda and Martin are the opposite. They are total role models for these children and that's what we need to look at and look at the value system that they have and maybe take that back up the way rather than things coming all the way down the way. The girls are the key thing. Um, you know, we've had different characters and you do find all sorts of characters. They're all individuals, which is great. The best thing for me as a volunteer is I might not make them the best player. Um, I might not be, you know, be able to bring that, but I'll make them a better player than what they were when they started. And I can guarantee that I'll make sure that they have a lot of fun whilst they do it. I think volunteers are very important because they need to enjoy what they're doing before they'll do it and they need to like see that we're getting something out of it as well. well since I've come here I've been absolutely um, amazed at the amount of work that Amanda does with the children and for the club. She really needs recognition here and um, to get the North Grassroots Award was absolutely amazing. For somebody to do that with such a small amount of girls to have the success she has, that's somebody special that's coaching these girls, giving them the confidence to know that they can reach their full potential. And I mean, she's pushing these girls, some of them she believes are national standard, and she's supporting them and trying to get them through there. She's a voice for the North girls here. She's got an infectious personality, she's enthusiastic. Um, I don't know how she manages it, to be perfectly honest. She's got limitless energy and you can see from the way the training session is working tonight that all the girls are happy. She makes it fun and passionate and different, the drills are different each week. We've got a special bond as a team, so yeah, I think she thoroughly deserves everything that she's been recognised for. I mean, I had a, a, a health scare last year, um, which was a, was a difficult time for the family because we're a family run club, myself, my husband, my son. We all coach here at the club. I was diagnosed with the kidney cancer last year. Um, we had booked to go to Loch Lomond in our national tournament and uh, I was determined that the cancer wasn't going to beat us and that we were going to get there. That lot gave me something to focus on and uh, it just made it all that bit sweeter to, to uh, win another battle. Slightly different battle from being on the park but all the same, another battle, and without them, I don't think I would have managed it. So I just give back something that they have given me that I can never, you know, return. So I just love it. <laughs>